Hi everybody, it's 314 Reactor here again with my Edith glasses and I've had a little update to them. What I've done is got rid of the bulky USB sound card and the PS4 earbud and I've switched to a Bluetooth earbud which now the audio will play through because obviously before you had this big sort of USB sound card hanging off and you had the wires coming off it as well. It just didn't look the best. Uh, so yeah, we can get rid of that. and. Yeah, now it's just down to these Bluetooth headphones, which just go in, pop that in there, one ear, and there you go, you can clip the other side to uh, a shirt or something, like so. And then it looks a lot more tidier, works a lot better, and of course the microphone is a lot clearer as well, so I can just pretty much use it completely hands-free, and it works a lot better. Because I couldn't get the microphone on the Bluetooth uh, headset to work properly, it wouldn't take the sound in, it was just very quiet, it wasn't receiving sound at all, I put a little USB microphone on the glasses themselves, which is considerably less bulky than the USB sound card, and it sits well on the table now, it looks better as well because there's no wires coming directly from it going to my head, and this can be kept separate, so it looks a lot better, works a lot better because the USB uh, microphone here seems to work way better than the one on the PS4, it takes the voice in more clearly, I don't have to sort of pick up the microphone to it to speak to it directly, and it picks up words a lot more accurately now. So I think this has improved the aesthetic, looks a lot cleaner and better on my head. Now the instructions of how I've done this are linked below on my blog post, on my Hackster, my Electromaker. So please go down there and check it out. There's also somebody who I've been in contact with who wants to make their own Edith glasses. This is exciting because I love inspiring people and hopefully they'll be able to take on board the uh, new hardware to make it a little bit more streamlined and with any luck they'll find a few ways to improve it. So good luck to them, I hope they keep in touch with me and let me know how it goes. So yeah, please do check out the links below and if you want to make your own pair, please do give it a go and see if you can improve it and let me know because I'm always looking for ways to improve my technology and make it a bit more streamlined and better. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. Again, if you like this video and you like this project, please give it a like and subscribe, it really helps out. Give it a comment as well if you want and also check out the links below which will take you to how to make this as well as the parts I use, etc. and obviously the updates that I've done here. And I'll see you in the next one.